Desert sand don't ask questions It don't wonder where I've been It understands it's my obsession To come and go with the wind Welcome to Tassie everybody! What a beautiful winter's day, isn't it, babe? It is! Yes, a beautiful 14 degrees at the moment. The rain has cleared overnight and we are in July. And we're doing something special today, aren't we? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come yeah. up past and I'll show everyone. We are testing a new bag set up on the Harley Davidson for our trip, which is coming up in November. The Harley's a bit slow to come up past normally. Oh, there is no speed limit with Harley, babe. That is it there. The Gibby bag on a Harley. Oh, put a Gibby bag on the Harley. <laughs> Interchangeable with one's V-Strom here. So that's the bag there. I've set it up on her back rack. It doesn't bounce around a real lot, which is good. But we're going to pull over up the road anyway and show you in a few minutes. Or what the actual setup is. We had a bag on there last year when we went on our big trip to the mainland in November, which we are doing again, aren't we, babe? We are. We're already booked to go in November, so look out, Dino Madness Adventures. Anyone, anyone that watches YouTube videos, look up Dino Madness Adventures. Amanda and Darren, they are about to start a big trip through the guts of Australia, aren't they, babe? Yep, they're up, party animals. Party animals, and up over the top end. So look out for that because that's coming up within a month. And he put some good videos on there. He's a cranky bastard though, <laughs> I tell you. Anyway, back to the bag. Last year when we went to the mainland, we had a leather bag on the back where that black one is there at the moment on top. Viking. A uh, uh, Viking one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it was about... Um, 30, 35 litres. The one that's on there now is 33 litres. So we're not losing any space. But the one last year we had a rounded top on it. This one here we can actually sit something on top, a roll bag on top of this one if we need, need to. As you can see, it is not bouncing around much at all. Um, although we are only doing 60 k's or so. But even on the highway just before, when we were going along the highway at 110, she was fairly stable. And it is full of stuff at the moment, we'll show you later. Anyway, I'll give you a little bit of footage of it, and we'll pull over up the road and have a walk around. Right, so there she is there, that's the setup we're going to go with. So that bag there will not be the actual bag that goes on there, because that is off my bike before we lash out and spend some money on Kim's bike and buying a new bag, which they're quite dear. Um, well, I just thought we'd take the one off my bike, the side pannier off, and we'll put it on top to see how it goes. So far, so good. Well, I can't feel it on then. The beauty of this is she just clips straight off, which you guys will see soon. All right, so here we are. We're going to hop off the bike then around here. We're at Bell's Parade in La Trobe on the banks of the Mersey River. So, we'll go in through here. Does that say no left turn? No entry, yeah, right. Oh. We're on bikes, we can go anywhere. <laughs> Can't we, babe? That must be the way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be the way in here. This is Axman's Hall of Fame here. But we'll go in through here. And we'll find somewhere to get off the bike to show you good people our setup. Follow me, babe. Follow you? I always follow you. Okay, turn her off and we'll get off the bikes here at the Axman's Hall of Fame in La Trobe. Look at that platypus there. He's a big and any babe. We breed him big in Tassie, don't we? I mean, look at Kim. <laughs> we breed him big. <laughs> anyway, we'll hop off the bike and I'll show you. Right, we've pulled up here at Bell's Parade in La Trobe. Right here, look. A lot of water there. We've had a bit of rain, haven't we, babe? It's a duck pool. But look, there's a platypus there. Anyhow, ripper, babe. That's there's huge. other platypus there. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you these bags. Now, this is what it looks like from the back end. 
Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. There, right there. So that is the back bag on Kim's bike. Now, that's the side view. Right there. And this view here. And that's Kimmy there, and she's going to take that bag off. Now, that all in the changes with mine. Obviously, that top box there can go on the top of Kim's bike too if I want. Plus, I've got the side pannier racks here for the Givy side pannier racks. They can go there too. So, anyway, take it off, Kim. Let's just show how easy it is to do. Key in, turn, push the button, pull it forward. Yep. Too easy. And put it down. And that there will go straight on to my bike just like that now like I said that is my side bag at the moment the other one's not on there we're just testing it aren't we babe we're testing it mm -hmm. but anyway we'll show you that this is a real test because we'll open up the bag I'll put it back on the bike and we'll open up the bag we'll see what's in the bag this time oh what's in the bag who knows have a look at the link down below, guys, one other time. Uh, I, I never packed the bags. <laughs> she opened up the bag and there was a surprise in there for her. Have a look at the link, guys. But anyway, I'll put her on the back. Right, so we got the bag back on. There you go, babe. Show them how to open it up. Mm -hmm. Push that. Yeah, push that. Cut little clicks at the side. Open her up. What, you'd be scared. <laughs> <laughs> open it up. There's nothing in there, babe. Uh, put it down. Yeah. Oh, right. There we go. We've just got Phew. our jeans in there. <laughs> well, we've loaded up. We've loaded up a fair bit of weight in there, just to um, no, you caught on something. Look, yeah, she's pretty rough, isn't she? She's rough as guts on the road. I tell you guys, every November I've got to go through this. It's not I my bag. bag. I bag them up every day. <laughs> it's not my bag yet. My new one's coming. <laughs> anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Kim's going to have to get used to that because that, I reckon, is the bag we're going to go with. Like I said, we can put a bag across the top of there too, a roll bag, can't we, yeah, babe, okay. if we need extra space. Mm. Anyway, we'll catch you later, guys. Don't forget to have a look at that link down below of Kim's bag last year. And give there me was a surprise up. in there. Yeah, give her a real thumbs up. <laughs> hey, guys, catch you later. Bye. Bye.